but not the bitterly cold air that we've seen it's the last. E it's expected, you know. You know yeah, though. exactly. A little bit colder for November, the November, December. Yep. Hey, here we come. It's here. Well, since the 70s, the Omaha Community Playhouse has put on their holiday show, A Christmas Carol. It's so successful, they've also started a touring production. They're getting ready for opening weekend again. Lindsay Thies is live at the Playhouse today. That's right, Megan, we're live here on stage and I mean pretty much anyone in Omaha knows the name A Christmas Carol and thinks of the Omaha Community Playhouse. You heard Jim talk about the weather. It might be a little nice this weekend, but you think of all those holiday shoppers. I don't want to mess with that. What better place to go than here at the Omaha Community Playhouse to see this show? And one of the things that we found as we were kind of digging into some of this history is this show has performers that have been performing some of the same roles for years year after year after year, including the ghost of Christmas past. Take a look. You know it's holiday time in Omaha when the curtain goes up. You will be haunted by three spirits. Merry Christmas, Uncle! And your favorite curmudgeon uh, is center stage. And after hundreds of performances, Who better to share the story of one of the biggest community theater performances in the country than the ghost of Christmas past, Julie Huff. At that time, the cast of Christmas Carol did not turn over every year. It was pretty much the same group of people, and at the same time, the ghost of Christmas past retired. While the Playhouse performed its first Christmas Carol in 1976, starring Mary Peckham as past. And played it for 15 years. She retired when she was 85. And this is me, and I think it's probably my second year. It would be 1994 when director Charles Jones. This is a script signed by Charles. Asked um, Huff with, to join the cast. Who was kind of the, the visionary there at the time. And he taught me everything I know. Two years ago, the show hit its 1,000th performance. Since then, many of the cast members have come and gone. Costumes have changed. It was retired um, when they re-envisioned the costumes about 10 years ago. And children that started off in the ensemble have grown up. These are but shadows of the things that have been making some of Huff's lines really hit home. But the one constant, well, besides her... A lot of memories, a lot of memories. ...is that feeling of community. Back out here live, what a great favorite, guys. I'm joined now with Jim Boggess. You've been with this, uh, with the Community Playhouse for, what, 15 years, a little bit more than that? 17, 96 is oh when I came on board. Oh my goodness, so mm -hmm. for year after year after year, we were we were seeing earlier the orchestra pit where you sit, and my camera guy's gonna get a shot of that. You're pretty much directly under where some of the action is going on on stage. What is that like during the show? Well, my head is sticking out of the hole, so I'm not really under. Um, uh, it's, I don't know, it's nothing weird to me. It's just what I do, you know. I hear a lot of footsteps. Wonderful. And I was going to say, year after year, is, has it gotten to the point where you know all the music, you know all the songs, like the back of your hand? Oh, to you, Christmas Carol? Yes. Yes, I use music for two of the, the two dance numbers. I still use music for that, but I know it in my head and I know exactly what it should sound like, and I know all the parts, and I know all the lines, and you know, you just know that stuff. Oh, you really yeah. do, but it still changes every year. It's because it depends on who's performing it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, so, uh, and I have to say, we have a wonderful cast this year. Well, I'm so, glad, I'm so glad that you mentioned that, because we saw a little bit from Julie, who has been around for years and years, but you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for this. A real treat coming up a little bit later on in the show. We'll be talking to a new cast member. He's part of the children's ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> and and I ha he was a doll to talk to earlier. Is he fun to watch on stage? He's a terrific young man. Re really a great, great little boy. Wonderful. I really like Ahmad. Awesome. So you guys want to stay tuned for that? That's a little bit later on in the show. We'll send it back to you, Megan. All right, Lindsay, we will. A Christmas Carol, one of those favorites, mm -hmm. I think, for everybody. Yeah, 